and be here. I've got the last few signatures. Thanks. No, I should be thanking you. We were really at our wit's end before you kids arrived. But when is the young lady you sent for help coming back? She's been gone a long time. You're right. I hope she didn't run into trouble. They may have gotten the drop on us, but we were ready for it. That voice! It's the proxy! Sorry to keep everyone waiting! I see. So you planned to stop the demolition by blocking the train, but you didn't expect to find a bunch of vision reinforcements. Huh, this means vision is at the point of no return. They'll do whatever it takes to stop the residents from getting out. But the proxy's plan to seize the train could work. <laughs> it's true what they say about Faithen's wisdom and courage. Ma'am, you've heard our plan. Now, we have something to ask of you. We need you to get all the residents together at the platform nearby. Don't worry, I'll tell them. When the time comes, they'll be there. Right. By the way, there was an old Red Fang Gang base in the hollow somewhere around here. Have you heard of it? You're still thinking about Nekomata's commission fee. Not true. This is Nekomata's important family heirloom, and maybe the residents here know something. I know the place. Everyone around here knows the Red Fang Gang. Is that so? Yes. Since they made their name on Canvas Street, everyone here is related to them one way or another. In the early days, they weren't what they are now. Back then, they took in lots of orphans, taught them to read and defend themselves. They often stood up for those in need. They said they'd protect us forever. Unfortunately, a few years passed, and that silver boy changed. He looked down on the slums and led the gang. As things got worse, many in the gang couldn't stand to see we don't want anything to do with the Red Fang Gang anymore. Silver fell into the hall. Huh? What did you say? What's the matter, young lady? We want nothing to do with them. What's wrong with that? No, not that. You said Silver fell into the hollow being chased by the Popsack? Wasn't he killed by the cutting hairs? Uh, w uh, about that. <laughs> <laughs> Little kitten. <laughs> uh, I mean, Miss Client. You can understand, right? We wanted to tell you, but each time you looked at us with those big, cute eyes, we just couldn't. <laughs> We're sorry. We were there. But it was public security who did it. Huh? So it wasn't you guys. Don't worry, Nekomata. Even if public security hadn't intervened, he was no match for the cunning hairs. Ahem. Even though it was you who got it wrong to begin with, we're somewhat responsible as well. How about we give you a small discount on your family heirloom commission? Uh, anyway, let's put this aside for now. First things first, we have to get that train and evacuate the residents out of here. Okay, let's go. We made it. Vision Corporation has its monitoring station here. The train is also nearby. To avoid alerting anyone, I found a secret way in. Here it is. Let's get moving. Sure! The Starlight Knight's here to punish the bad guys! It has to. It has to work! This path's blocked. We can't go this way. Let's take the secret way then. Try to sneak over to the monitoring station. Not bad, Faithen. You're so prepared. Valve status analyzed. The valve opens when the lock is not smart tech.
Well, well. What a pleasant surprise. Everything's going according to plan. Awesome. Seems like this route is smooth sailing. Guys, we're near the train. Our objective is simple. Take out the guards, seize the train, and head on out. Roger that! Uh, I think the pressure is getting to Ambi. She's lost her mind. Not quite. I'm guessing she's humming background music to match the atmosphere. Must have learned it from another movie. Enough with the soundtrack, Ambi. Everyone knows how important this next fight is. Proxy, we'll leave driving the train to you. Power preparations on your side. I'm ready and waiting. It's rare to see you this pumped up, Wise. Go for it. Then, let's go. We'll catch them off guard. Uh-oh! Uh -oh. An enemy attack! Come on, let's make this quick. Beat them down, get out of the hollow, and find the train! Enemy reinforcements have surrounded us. 
What should we do? Come in, Director Perlman. Unknown intruders attack near the train. We've suffered some losses. But rest assured, in terms of numbers and supplies, we maintain the advantage. The intruders retreated into the train. Please advise, should we begin an all-out assault? <laughs> Director Perlman, requesting orders. D don't storm in! <laughs> I'm inside! <laughs> These bastards! I, I mean, the ladies and gentlemen from the cunning hands have me trapped in here! Stand down! Do you hear me? Stand down! <laughs> if I'm harmed, the corporation will hold you all responsible! This dude has his uses after all. Right. The tracks are gone. And even with the train, we can't get everyone out of the hollow now. No, I wasn't laughing at you. I happened to find it. During the fighting. That's you with... Wait. That's Silver. From the Red Fang Gang. That's right. I lied to you. I'm not the Red Fang Gang's enemy. But one of the orphans who used to live near Canvas Street that they adopted. The Red Fang Gang used to have ideals. They all wanted to protect their home. No matter how disappointed I was in the Red Fang Gang, after hearing you led Silver into the Hollow and killed him, I came into the Dead End Hollow looking for revenge. But you're not exactly what I expect. Not only did you save the kid, you even stayed without a single complaint after hearing a vision's plan. And now that I know Silver's death wasn't your fault, I have no reason to want revenge! The Red Fang Gang betrayed their promise and abandoned the people they were supposed to protect. As a former member of the gang, I can't let that happen again. I've made up my mind. <laughs> I'm gonna go negotiate with Vision. Don't worry. With Pearlman as a bargaining chip, plus my identity as a member of the Red Fang Gang, things will work out. Miss Client! Nekomata! Hey! Come back! Nekomata! Nekomata! Help me! Billy! Open the door! We can't, boss! It's too tough! Perlman's people must have reinforced the doors and windows in the co- Damn it! Shh. Listen, there are people talking outside. I've made myself clear, haven't I? Now! I'm gonna take your boss with me on foot through the hollow to New Eridu to negotiate with your command center. At the same time, all your men, all of you, will stop blocking the residents and leave with me. So, if you don't want anything bad to happen to your boss, you better find him an anti-corruption device. And the fastest route through the hollow! Nicole! Everyone's counting on you! Uh, we did it! We're out! Son of a... Getting through the door took too long. Nekomata and Perlman have already gone into the hollow. Fairy, give me Nekomata's location. Client location found. Based on her current route, she will be arriving at the hollow exit in 30 minutes. So there's no way to stop? No way. We can't leave saving the residents to Nekomata alone. If Vision is willing to resort to something so underhanded, they won't be easy to deal with. But our plan with the train failed, so how are we going to get the residents out? They don't have any aptitude for ether. Aww. If only there was a way to give corruption resistance to everyone at once! Maybe we can shake things up a bit. Ever hear the saying, if the mountain can't come to us, we have to go to the mountain? I know what you're thinking. It's a long shot, guys. But I don't think we have any other options. <gasps> what do you mean? Nicole, Canvas Street and New Eridu aren't that far apart as the crow flies. It's getting through the dead-end hollow that takes so long. If we can shrink the hollow and gain access to the exposed roads, we can get the residents out in one go. Yeah! Then there's a chance! We're good at taking out ethereals! But to reduce the size of the hollow, we'd have to eliminate approximately 3,000 of them. <laughs> Under certain circumstances, the ether activity of certain giant individuals can reach or even exceed the equivalent of thousands of your standard ethereals. You've probably guessed by now. I mean the dead-end butcher. That massive guy, he's 
way too big. However you look at it, if something goes wrong, I won't get to see Monica tomorrow night. Mm. We alone certainly aren't a match for it, but don't forget, Vision left quite a few weapons lying around. We can help ourselves to some of their ether explosives. Huh. So that's it. We use the explosives to take out the dead end butcher. Huh. It's like you said. A pretty crazy idea, but we don't have time to think about it. Let's get to work. Okay, the new plan uses Vision's explosives. All their stock should be in here. Suggestion. Transport it with a vehicle. Good idea. Let's load the explosives onto the train. Warning, Neko Niamana's biosignal detected. What? Where is she? The target is about to reach the hollow exit. What's going on here? How did Director Perlman get tied up by a little girl? I don't know. But she got hold of Commander Perlman and the troops defending the blast area had to listen to her demands and pull out. She says she wants to see the person in charge here, so Miss Sarah has stepped in to negotiate. You're the person in charge? My request is simple. I'll return him to you as soon as Vision stops the demolition and gets the residents out. Easy for you to say. If we do as you say and it turns into a scandal, how are we supposed to explain things to the public? And who are you exactly? You aren't worried about negotiating with us on your own. Oops. Forgot to introduce myself. I'm Nekomiomana, but you can call me Nekomata. I won't lie. I'm actually from the Red Fang Gang. The, the Red Fang Gang? That's right. I said I would negotiate. So I brought the proper bargaining chip. The remnant of the Red Fang Gang. And a subordinate of the late Miguel Silver, who took residents of the old capital as hostages and violently obstructed construction. The bandit leader, Neko Miyamana, captured by the Vision Corporation. How's that? Sound good to you? You mean to sacrifice yourself? How noble. Noble? <laughs> I'm just a stray animal who's lost her home. I don't belong anywhere anymore, so it would seem fitting. How about it? As long as you contact the media now and tell the public. Don't worry, he's not dead. The syringe contains an experimental anesthetic. Let me give you some advice. Verify the value of your bargaining chip before you bring it to the table. Unfortunately, Mr. Perlman is not as useful to us as you might think. Hmm. We have to hurry. Let's carry out the original plan. Split into two groups. We're going to stall the dead end butcher, right? Yeah. Lure it to the target location. Lead the explosives train to us. Got it. We'll get going then. Okay, let's get the train moving. Got control of the train?
train. I hope things go well for Nicole and the others. So empty out here. Are we sure that big guy's really around? Not sure about the big guy. Plenty of little guys, though. It must be hiding somewhere. Huh? The beasties are running away. Almost here. The monster? The theme song. What? The bad guy's theme always plays before the final battle. <laughs> Don't worry, Ambi. I've mastered all the rules for a surefire win from the Starlight Knights! Gotta break the rules when fighting bad guys. Take them out in less than 10 seconds with a flying kick! They won't even have time to play their theme song! Behind you. My predictions were out predicted! You big dummy! The only thing they'd be playing for you are the credits! Don't tell me this guy's a fan of the Starlight Knights too!
one behind the demolition plan. Then let me ask you. Winning the bid at such a low cost and killing all those people. Construction project really that important to Vision? That's not something you need concern yourself with. I think that's enough chit-chat. It's time to get down to business. What's that in your hand? This little thing? <laughs> the detonation switch for the ether explosives, of course. Wait! No! I deeply regret the loss of any non-existent residents in the blast zone. Everything we do is for our vision. Goodbye. Miss Sarah, reports show a successful blast. Good. Wait, look! That tunnel leading out of the hollow! Someone's coming out! The Vision Corporation is a disgrace! Down with the Vision Corporation! Vision has the blood of innocent civilians on its hand! You can't silence us this time! Hey, everyone! Oh, so you were able to get out of the blast zone? I'm impressed. Do you really think you can expose us? Don't forget, everyone here belongs to us. On my order, open fire. What? Oh, she... She's serious! <laughs> What's that sound? This just in! A shocking scandal is developing around the Vision Corporation! After receiving a tip-off, our reporter followed the public security and has now arrived at the site of the Demolition Command Center located near the entrance to the Dead End Hollow. Public security forces are currently cordoning off the scene and have subdued a number of unidentified individuals posing as law enforcement. Calling Director Sierra! Calling Director Sierra! We're surrounded by public security! Hmm. Not just public security, Bellabog Industries is here too! They brought the media. We've lost control of the area. <laughs> I knew Vision wouldn't give up easily. So I contacted Bellabog as we got out of the hollow. As expected of a competitor, they got here real fast. Director Sarah, what should we do? Director Sarah, where are you? Reporting. All suspects have surrendered. No casualties among the residents. <sighs> the public security says we're safe. I heard they'll get our details soon, and we'll be taken to the station to give statements. <sighs> it's you! What are you doing? I was going to ask what you're doing, sneaking around alone. Didn't you hear the announcement? Requesting everyone to the station to make a statement? I... Uh, everything has been dealt with, so I'm not needed anymore. No way. You are an important witness who can prove Vision is guilty. And then, there's the cunning Harris. I'm the one who tried to get you killed, right? You'd still- Huh? My share? What share? Your share for dinner, of course. Didn't we say, once we are done with the commission, we'll go out for dinner? You said you didn't want to go to the Starlight Night restaurant, so Billy won't pay for us. And Nicole says she wants a decent meal, so we'll have to split the bill. Wait a second! You guys said you'd treat me for being a generous client! Why do I have to pay all of a sudden? And did anyone ask me my opinion? I never said I'd go! Then consider this a formal invitation. Would you like to come to dinner with us? The proxy siblings are coming too! And it's all you can eat! That's right! All the mackerel you can get your paws on. Why? 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 Unlimited mackerel? Then I'll have to think about it! Anyway, thanks to Nekomata's connections within the Red Fang Gang, they won't be coming after us anymore. And I've made progress on what you asked me to investigate. According to the gang, they took part in stealing the strong box, but nobody knows where it actually came from. Apparently, Silver received a commission from a mysterious client. They were told to go to the Institute and get the strong box. But Silver didn't give the gang all the details, like how or to whom they were going to hand over the box. So. Nobody knows. Oh, are you serious? You've got to be kidding. No one knows where it came from? Mystery client? Nobody knows the details? If you keep phoning it in like this, Nicole, we'll have to reconsider your investigation fee. Uh, don't do that. 
I admit, I've been busy with the lawsuit against Vision and pushed back your commission a little. But that strong box is really hard to look into. And I want to help those poor old residents who escaped death get compensation as soon as possible. We saved them together after all. Thanks for the guilt trip, Nicole. We'll let you off the hook this time. That reminds me. What happened to Nekomada? I haven't seen her since. Ah, that little kitten. <laughs> About that. So she left. Meow, meow, meow. Cat attack! I printed our group photo app. What do you think? It's good, right? Super clear? Come grab one. This one's for Wise, and this one's for Belle. You look like someone just stole your favorite mackerel. Ah, <laughs> uh, pulling on our heartstrings is a bit much, Nicole. And don't even think about using the commission fee to cover what you owe. Just pay 10% today. Get the money, Nicole. Uh, have mercy on me. I just wanted to surprise you. Ahem. Let me formally introduce to you the newest member of the cunning hair. I'm Neko Miyamada, but you can call me Neko Mara. I work for the Cunning Hairs. I look forward to cooperating with you both, meow. 